is this new cooking oil all hype or is it a kitchen miracle? Well, I'm here to find out and if you care about your health and hopefully the health of this planet, then you might like to hear about this oil because I was so excited that I thought I would love to share it with you and I wanna go through some of the purported benefits of this oil so that you can decide whether that's something that you wanna try or not. Have you ever heard of linoleic acid? Well, I hadn't either, but I like to follow up a little bit and listen to a lot of podcasts about health. And linoleic acid is actually an omega-6 polyunsaturated fat, fatty acid. So the body can't make it itself. However, if you're eating like most normal people, you get plenty of it in your diet. The problem arises when you get too much in your diet, which is the case for most Americans and the oils that they're eating because they're eating a lot of seed oils, sunflower oil, they're eating rapeseed oil, which is canola oil. And why is this a problem? Because high amounts of linoleic acid in your diet have been linked to inflammation and obesity. They lower your metabolic rate and increase oxidative damage in your tissues, and that doesn't sound good to me at all. If you consistently have high levels of linoleic acid, then you are susceptible to premature aging and death. Another thing that's really exciting about this cooking oil is it's called a cooking oil and it has a really high smoke point. It's supposedly above avocado oil. Avocado oil is another oil that we like to use and I have actually gotten away from using olive oil for anything that I am roasting in the oven or that I'm frying in the pan or that I'm sauteing because it really isn't heat stable and um, the breakdown of these oils uh, causes the formation of some chemicals that I really don't want in my own body. Another thing that we notice is that we don't get a lot of toxic fumes. And now if you're wondering, where does this actually come from? What is it? It is something that I had to read a few times to really understand it. It is made from non-GMO sugar cane, which is a very abundant crop, not necessarily in the US, but in other countries. And it has a very low environmental footprint. So this is fermented. And if you know anything about me, you might know that I love everything fermented. I mean, I'm here and I love anything sourdough for the health benefits and for the better taste and sauerkraut and dairy products. So this is another fermented food. They are feeding specific microorganisms with the sugar from non-GMO sugarcane and express the oil out of this product of the fermentation. It sounds really crazy to me and sounds really techy to me. But again, um, we have tried it and the taste is absolutely neutral, which makes it so perfect for anything because it doesn't have an aftertaste or it doesn't have... Um, its own taste like olive oil for example or coconut oil and I know there's a lot of science behind this which is why I am linking the website below so you can read through the white papers you can read through the research and form your own opinion but again I'm pretty excited about it and I'm gonna not just take their word but actually look at who else is supporting this and promoting this oil. And these are people that I like to follow or whose opinion I trust. And let's see who else likes it. The food website tasting table called the oil a game changer, reporting that the new Shake Shack fries hold on to their quality as they cool and had a creaminess and taste similar to coconut oil. Most importantly, I have used it in a lot of high heat recipes, such as frying German meatballs or roasting vegetable chips at about 400, at above 400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And it's absolutely noticeable that there are no fumes or smoke as I'm cooking at this high heat. 
if you have probably heard of the whole 30 co-founder melissa urban she likes it dr andrew weil he's a pioneer in integrative medicine and a professor of medicine and public health he endorses it the fast food chain chipotle is investing in it and shake shack has partnered with zero acre and several michelin star restaurants are using it solely for frying their foods let's look at the website they're saying it's better for people planet and french fries and it is a good fat for good health your body will thank you it's supposedly more heat stable and heart healthy mono unsaturated fat than olive oil and avocado oil and up to 10 times less omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids, which is linoleic acid, that your doctor will be impressed by. You can read about what linoleic acid is. You can also learn about what seed oils are and if you should avoid them, the link between vegetable oils and obesity and i love this nifty little chart here the only cooking oil that checks every box neutral taste high heat healthy fats you can see if your oil is on there that you're currently using and how cooking oils turn toxic in high heat above 356 degrees fahrenheit and the sustainability issue here And then you can, at the very bottom, you can get into the blog, you can read the white papers, you can get to frequently asked questions, and you can subscribe and save money if you're ordering this. Now you're probably wondering, okay, so where is, well, what's the downside here? Where's the hitch? What's the, what am I not, <laughs> what am I not understanding? I haven't found anything except at almost $30 a bottle that isn't cheap. I usually use avocado oil for my high heat frying and roasting. Avocado oil isn't cheap either, but it's probably half as expensive or a little less than half as expensive as this. However, I understand the company is looking into technologies to bring the price down because of course, they say they care about the consumer and they care about the planet, and um, but they have a product that they want to sell. However, if this is better for our health and better for our planet, I am okay actually supporting them and I will continue using this oil in not all my recipes and not all the time, but in certain situations. And I'm going to continue trying it in other recipes other than what I have done. And if you are as excited about it as I am and you would like to try it, I'm leaving my affiliate link down below in the description box. Affiliate link just means that if you order through my link, I get a little kickback but you also get a little discount. So I think that's a win-win. And if you'd like me to make videos like this a little bit more often here on my channel, usually I have other content, as you may know, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think. If you have tried it, what you found, how you liked it, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.